Hello to all. Hope you are having a safe and healthy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, this is a follow-up video to my uh, first uh, first video titled "How to How do I sign up for a COVID-19 antibody test?" So uh, we have we have some more data and wanted to get out that out to you as soon as possible. Um, again, this is for the antibody test, not any testing that is uh, for current active cases. This is just uh, regarding the antibody test. Um, Here's just a, a little highlight of, I guess, an uh, overview of what we're looking to cover um, in this video. And, and as it says, uh, just want to start off with thanks for all the kind regards and for the, uh, the prayers. Certainly will not turn down any prayers. Much, much appreciated. Um, but as you can see, I am healthy. Uh, I've been asymptomatic for, uh, for quite some time. Uh, and so yeah, wanted to do a little clarifying along those those front, and I'll I'll do that here in a second. But uh, also we'll be jumping into the new data and then the the FAQs, um, and then also tomorrow, uh, Jen, my wife got tested today. She's been asymptomatic throughout this, so I should have her test results tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, I'll be posting that as well. And uh, and then if you guys have any feedback or if you want to share your experiences and or your test results in the comments below I feel like the more data we have the better off we're all going to be and the more informed we will be and uh, able to make better decisions um, politically and even individually so again going back to the top uh, wanted to do a special thanks to all the frontline workers much much appreciated for all you guys are doing day in and day out to keep us safe and uh, keep us healthy and Certainly that would even include some of the folks that are doing retail right now. So again, much appreciated uh, to those folks and any essential workers, but especially wanted to thank uh, nurses. This week is uh, National Nurses Week and tomorrow is National Nurses Day. And in honor of that, we wanted to give away a $150 Visa gift card to, to a nurse. So check out our Facebook page tomorrow uh, for more information on that and how to, how to nominate a nurse or if you are a nurse, feel free to uh, to enter your name to win that $150 gift card. But I uh, just wanted to do a little something to honor uh, all the nurses that are doing a great job of taking care of us. Um, for those friends of mine, also uh, thanks for uh, reminding me that I have a face for radio. Uh, unfortunately, you're stuck with me here uh, as I don't have a means of uh, producing anything on, on the radio. So I'm, I'm sticking to YouTube. But, uh, but yeah, so... Shifting gears, Clif clarifying. So no symptoms since uh, probably February 5th, maybe even February 4th. I think I the, the first symptoms I recall, I, I went home from work on January 31st, um, was, was absolutely wiped out. So um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to clarify. But yeah, those are the main things. Just wanted to clarify those. And then... Uh, Jumping into the new data, so we had we had three people go get tested. Uh, I guess at my encouragement, or uh, in the wake of me testing positive for the COVID-19 antibodies, not active. Uh, again, not an active case. Um, these were people again that had similar symptoms back in December, January, or February. Uh, several, at least a couple of them had had tested negative for the flu. Um, they again. Several that we were doing. I, I can't tell you on Facebook actually if you guys want to take a peek at that on the town of Waynesburg and or other places. So so many people are saying that they had these symptoms: dry cough, fever, uh, sicker than they've ever been. Um, but as it turns out, for the for the three folks that uh, that I encouraged to get tested or that that did in fact get tested, they all came back negative. So. Um, I will confess that is not what I expected, uh, especially in light of the same symptoms, which, if anything, raises more questions than it answers. Um, so, yeah, I've been wrestling with what exactly this means, and I guess there's a few possibilities. Um, one possibility would be that they had, they had false negatives, and I'm thinking that's highly unlikely in light of the fact that there were three of them. Uh, one possibility is that I had a false positive, and that's certainly a uh, possibility. I will know more again after after my wife tests because she was asymptomatic throughout, um, so that'll that'll shed a little more light. Um, 
it's possible that I had the same symptoms but a different virus, and obviously in mine tested positive for the antibodies. Uh, it's possible that I was asymptomatic and that the virus I had in, in January was, was just some other respiratory virus that was nasty but, uh, but not COVID-19. So um, again, some of the questions that that raises, uh, what the heck did so many people have back in December, January, and February? Because it was again a nasty virus uh, for a lot, a lot of people. I can't tell you how much feedback I've gotten. Um, many, again, many testing negative for the flu. And another question that it raises is when did I have it? So just a couple of things along those lines. Um, I was in Las Vegas the, the, for a conference the first week of February. I was in uh, Montana and flew through Washington, the state of Washington, uh, the first week of, of March. Um, I went to a Penguins game on March 7th, so who knows when I might have been exposed. It's, I, I doubt I'll ever know. Um, but another question is, how did I not give it to more people, right? So here in the office, uh, you know, before we shut down and, and had everybody working remotely, um, I was exposed to a ton of different people, and uh, at least two of them turned up negative. So scratching my head a little bit, not sure what to think of that, but I figured, again, I, I wanted to err on the side of getting that data out to you guys, letting you make an informed decision about whether or not you wanted to take the test. Uh, and again, if you have any questions on that, the first video really outlines how to go about doing that, um, at least through Quest Diagnostics. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully that'll be helpful to you guys. But yeah, I feel like the more data we have, the better off we're going to be. So uh, I'll, I'll, again, appreciate everybody listing their, their comments down below. Um, last thing is, uh, is, again, just to kind of dig into some of those FAQs. So... Uh, what what were my symptoms? So chills, fever, slight fatigue um, the, that first day, and, and then it kind of hit me like a freight train. So I had a fever, although it was never a super high-grade fever, but I did have a fever. I had, again, this dry cough, and, and at one point it was probably only... Um, maybe even four, month, four minutes that I had this sensation that uh, I, you know, what you hear people describing as a heart attack. So like this pressure on my chest that, uh, that again, if I wasn't in better health, I would, I would have definitely been thinking I am having a heart attack. And in fact, I did, tell, I did tell Jen, I said, in case something happens here, I uh, just want you to know, I have this really strange pressure that I've never felt before. But again, it was only four minutes long. Um, so those are my symptoms. I, four to five days, and uh, and since then I have been asymptomatic, so uh, not entirely sure how to interpret those results and or that data, but I uh, figured I'd share it with you. A uh, couple other questions that I've been asked, um, how much blood, just a, a very small vial, uh, and again I was in and out of there in five minutes, um, very easy to sign up and take the test, if, uh, if you watch the video it's uh, very intuitive uh, once once you watch that, I would think. And then also, um, the, the other question is, oh, do you need to fast? No, you, I did not need to fast. Although if you have not been fasting, you just need to indicate that to them when, uh, when, you're, when you're taking the test. Um, so again, tomorrow I'll share the results and uh, please share your experiences and or, and or feedback. But uh, hopefully we'll continue to get through this together. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, for those of you who have stuck who have stuck with me to the very end here? Uh, just a little extra thank you. You'll be the you'll be the first to know that um, anybody who who likes our Facebook page, who uh, follows us on LinkedIn on our LinkedIn page, or um, who subscribes to our YouTube page, you will be entered to win a hundred and fifty dollar gift card. Um, again, just trying to trying to reposition. Uh, our business here and didn't want to distract from from the video and from the uh, the COVID-19 stuff but uh, again really appreciate you guys tuning in and appreciate everybody's feedback and if you need additional info you feel free to check us out on any of those YouTube Facebook or LinkedIn or our website all right again be safe and healthy and uh, take care